So this one is something like this, right? Uh, yes. I read x cubed plus ax squared minus dx minus c, right? How do you know that it doesn't, it doesn't like share a root so it doesn't just touch the thing? It says it has three real roots, one positive, two negatives. Okay? okay. This one, these yeah. two are negatives, this one is positive. You can also say something like this, right? Okay. okay. And we can find something about these roots. For example, R1, R2, R3 is what? Uh, it's C equal to C. It's negative negative C C, right? Yeah. By the Atos formula. R1, R2, R1, R3 plus R2, R3 is what? It's negative. Negative B. R1 plus R2 plus R3 is A, right? For example, we negative. can conclude here it's positive. C is positive because two negatives Shouldn't one it be negative A? Ah, yes, sorry. Negative A, yes. And then it says consider this one, right? Yeah. So if we consider this one, let's see what happens. It says x cubed minus ax squared minus dx plus c. It negates all parts like this, right? Yeah. Okay. It says it has three real roots, one positive, two negatives. Some of them says it's three. Some of them exactly one real root. The number of real roots can be one or three. So in one case, we should find the roots are positive, the roots are one. It cannot be two, right? Can yeah. It because can up two if it is tangent, right? What have you done for this problem? I did this. I listed out the Vienna's formulas for the second one. Okay, no, if we I use Vienna's formula, well. r prime one, r prime two, r prime three is negative, right? Yes. R1, R2 plus R1, R3 plus R2, R3 is... Let me check. Both of them negative. This one is negative, right? It should just be B. It is negative. No, no, it is, it is negative. Yeah, it's negative. R1 plus R2 plus R3 is A, right? Yeah. Yeah, these two will be okay. Uh, I'm thinking of something. Yeah, if I change them to negative, this one will be negative C, this one will be negative B. Oh, so. Do you agree that these are primes? I can say that if the first one, the roots are R1, R2, R3, the next one, the roots are negative R1, negative R2, negative R2. Because they satisfy this. Agree? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now we can easily say the correct choice is what? Which choice is correct? So they have three real roots, two positive, one negative. Yeah, B. B, finished. Check it. The answer is B. One second. Uh, this is question 19, not 20. Yeah, it's B. 